Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Today I'm bringing you a 4th of July party ideas video and this is not going to be your mom's traditional 4th of July party. We're gonna be taking a lot of the classic ideas and adding a fun modern twist to them like these super fun firecracker hot dogs that are a modern take on the classic hot dog. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can incorporate some festive decorations without going overboard. So we're gonna start off with the decorations. I'm using a white tablecloth because I wanna incorporate color with the food and bring in those red, whites, and blues in a non-traditional way. So after that, I found this contact paper in the dollar spot at Target and I added that to the center of the table for a pop of color. And then I'm adding the drinks on top of the table in this really cute tin. I like it because it's not super busy, but you still have a really festive 4th of July American flag. And then for the table decoration, I'm keeping it really simple with these tassels. I'm also adding these tassels to the table. I think that they add a lot of texture and they make it super fun. And then I have these cute pinwheels that I'm gonna be adding to the tree behind the table. And now that we've created the bone structure of the party table, we're gonna go ahead and start adding all of our food and beverages. And now we're gonna jump into the very first recipe that I wanna share with you guys, and that is these super fun firecracker hot dogs that I found on Pinterest. All you need is some barbecue skewers and then the hot dogs of your choice. You just put them on the barbecue skewers, and then I just rolled some regular pizza dough. You can use pizza dough, you could use breadstick dough, and I'm just wrapping it around the hot dog like this, and then I'm securing the ends by kind of um, pinching the dough together. And then I put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Once they come out of the oven, they will be nice and brown like this. And then we're gonna add these super cute stars made out of cheese. Since I didn't have a cookie cutter, I just Googled star and then I printed it out and cut out the little star shape and that's what I used as my mold and it worked really nicely. So I did some yellow American sharp cheese, but then I also wanted to do white cheese so I did this jalapeno jack mix and I think it looks really pretty with the white stars. And there you have your super fun modern take on the classic hot dog for the 4th of July. Okay, so instead of having the traditional corn on the cob, I thought we would add a little flair to it and make a Southwest inspired corn in a cup. This is really popular in South Texas and also in places near the border of Mexico. It is so good. And even though the ingredients are gonna sound a little strange together, don't knock it till you try it. So first we're gonna start off by roasting our corn. This takes about 12 to 15 minutes. You just wanna make sure that you continue flipping it every five minutes so it doesn't burn. And then we're going to take all of the corn off the cob and put it in a mixing bowl. And now to that, we're gonna add butter, lime juice, also some mayo, and then we're gonna give it a good mix. You could also season it to taste with a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna scoop them into these super festive cups, and we're gonna sprinkle it with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. We're also gonna add fresh chili powder and some tahini, which is a spice that you can find in the international aisle. It's a little bit tart, but you could totally leave this out if you can't find it, and it's still gonna be really delicious. No party is complete without some festive drinkware, so I thought we would just keep it simple and use some mason jars and then add a little bit of decoration to them. I found both of these at the dollar spot in Target and I just added some twine and then added the little stickers to the center. To add a little bit more of a festive touch, I added these skewers with blueberries and strawberries. And I also found these adorable drinking cups that I thought would be perfect for the little kids and they can take these home and you can fill them up with whatever you want. So the last element to take your party to the next level is lighting. I think adding a little bit of light to any party gives it a really magical touch. So I'm using these solar powered string lights and I like these because they charge with the sun, you don't need to plug them in and they turn on by themselves at night. Another idea is to create a really cozy picnic for your 4th of July party. And this is a place where you can sit down and relax, especially once the sun starts to go down and you want to enjoy the fireworks. We're going to start by using a picnic blanket. Target has some really cute patterns and I'm just using this white and blue one to incorporate that 4th of July feel. And then I'm adding this picnic umbrella and I'm also adding these really cute chairs for anybody that doesn't want to sit directly on the floor. And of course you need to add some cozy pillows and I really like these 4th of July ones because they add just the right amount of festive of touch and lights we cannot forget about the lighting and I love these silver lanterns that I found at Target they're so cute and I like incorporating three different sizes because it really adds a nice dimension and you can use these all the time not just for a party I 
I hope this video gives you some inspiration for your next 4th of July party. I hope it encourages you to step outside of your comfort zone and take those traditional moments and put a modern twist on them. Also, thank you to Target for collaborating with me on this video. I will leave all of the information of everything that I used in this video listed down below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my husband's famous burgers, which I'm so excited because once you try these, you're never gonna to wanna to make them any other way. I promise you guys.